A family favorite, Toys R Us is closing nearly 200 stores from coast to coast, including some here in the Chicago area. So this announcement comes as many shoppers move to Amazon and huge chains like Walmart for their toys. Seven stores in the Chicago area are now closing. They're located in Highland Park, Schaumburg, Vernon Hills, Madison, Burbank, Niles, and the Bricktown Shopping Complex in Chicago's Montclair neighborhood. That's where Eyewitness News reporter Rubby Beshwal is, live with more on these clos closings. Rubby? Well, Rob and Judy, haven't we heard this story before? Yet again, another big box retailer seems to go down for the count pretty much after not being able to sustain the competition of online, online sales and all the other things that go with having a great shopping experience. Now we hear that, that Babies R Us and Toys R Us probably shuttering a quarter of their stores nationwide. Right here in the Montclair neighborhood, they're not able to escape the pain. Bright-eyed nine-month-old Raquel can't seem to wait to get inside Schaumburg's Babies R Us, a seemingly busy place that Toys R Us corporate nevertheless plans to shutter as part of the chain's latest Chapter 11 bankruptcy filing announced last night. I'm a mom of four and I love Amazon, but sometimes you just have to go in and feel the products before you buy them. But you're likely to see more combined stores such as this one a mile east as 20% of Toys R Us locations close nationwide, seven in the Chicago region. The way people shop these days, it's maybe on your couch for Christmas time, sitting down looking at your phone, maybe your wife or your partner sitting next to you. She's looking at Target while you're looking at Walmart, while and then she's flipping over to Toys R Us. And if you don't have the price or the availability in the, in the product, you're losing that customer. The company noted some closings may be avoided if it is able to negotiate better lease terms. But in a letter on its website, Toys R Us CEO Dave Brandon warned, the reinvention of our brands requires that we make tough decisions about our priorities and focus. Within a Toys R Us store, they have tried to introduce things like events where there is a Lego aspect, there is a Hot Wheels demonstration. But if you walk through a Toys R Us store, it's still the old category killed or big box that isn't very inviting, right. that has the tile floors, isn't really that much fun. Each store has approximately 25 employees, according to the company. And in an email to us, Toys R Us said they'll try to transfer those folks to nearby stores that are remaining open and offer severance packages where that cannot be worked out. To be able to go into this store and touch this this figure and and imagine it that's really important for you isn't it i think so absolutely because if you're buying it online you don't know what you're going to get and so we're back live here in the montclair neighborhood now toys r us has a few months to try to negotiate with the landlords of strip malls like this to get better lease terms so perhaps this store does stay open but they've already announced that the going out of business sales for the affected stores will happen starting next month, going right through till April. And if it's any indication about how this is going to go, the 25 Toys R Us stores in the, in, to, Toys R Us stores in the United Kingdom already are entirely having their going out of business sales.